Welcome to Andy's Garage. I'm Andy Phillips. Today we're going to be replacing all four brakes on this Kia Rio. Let's go ahead and get started. I have the entire driver's side up, so I have it on jack stands as you can see there. So I'm going to do the driver's side, then the passenger side, that way we keep moving. But to start off, and these are aftermarket rims that I have here, but I've already taken the hub covers off for the, um, for the lug nuts. And those are actually 19 millimeter lug nuts on here. So I'm going to remove those on these two tires and then we'll be back to take a look inside and then I'll show you what's needed to complete this and we'll get moving with it. As we saw, both wheels are removed. So we have our, our rear brake pads that we're gonna be replacing. And then we have our front ones that we're gonna be replacing. Let's get a close up here so I can show you what we're gonna to have to remove and then I'll show you everything that's needed. This is our front one here. These are our brake pads right there. If we look down in there, you can see, let's see if I turn light on you see they're getting pretty low definitely time to replace them but what I wanted to show you we have a 14 millimeter that we need to put a socket here and another 14 millimeter here that will remove the caliper from the caliper bracket and then we can get to those brake pads we will need to use a c-clamp to compress the piston on the caliper back to, to fit it back over the rotor let's here head over here to the back this is the back one So the back one, same thing. We have a 14 millimeter here and a 14 millimeter right here. Same thing, this is our caliper mounted to the bracket and these are our brake shoes here. Let's take a look at those. And those have a lot of brakes still on them but I'm gonna replace them anyway while we have all this off. But with this one here, it's a little bit different because the piston on the rear caliper cannot be compressed using just a C-clamp. You, you have to actually rotate it to actually compress it down. What I use is just a set of needle nose pliers. And once we take it off, I'll show you there's a groove pattern there that we can just fit it onto and just screw it down to compress it. Now let me show you everything that'll be needed to complete this. What you're gonna need, first of all, are your brake pads. You are gonna need for the front and for the rear. These here I just picked up online, but you can pick them up at automotive stores online. They're easy to come by. But I have, um, you wanna make sure that you specify your front and your rear, because you can see here they are different pads. You are gonna need a C-clamp for compressing, as we saw, the front caliper. You're going to need a 14 millimeter socket and a ratchet for removing the caliper bolts there that hold it to the caliper bracket. You will need needle nose pliers, so we can rotate and compress the piston on the rear calipers. And then I do have brake part lubricant, which is good so we can grease up the, the rails a little bit when you put the new ones on. So these are all the items that we'll need to get started. We'll start by removing this top bolt here on the caliper bracket where it connects. There we go. Should be able to just slide this right out. Set that down. We'll remove the bottom one next. These can be a little bit tight. Now we can do that by hand. Now with those off, we should be able to slide this as our caliper. We'll just slide that right off. set it up here you don't want to put stress on the brake line sometimes you can take a wire hanger hang it here to your strut I just set them up here and they're usually fine but these these suckers are kind of stuck on here let's see if we can yeah they were already coming apart 
but I'm going to get a flathead screwdriver. We can pry those off. There we go. Oh, they're pretty worn down. We'll get a close up of them. Let's get this one off here. Inner one's not too bad, but the outer one was bad. Here's a comparison. Obviously, this is what came off. You can see all the way down it is. This is the new one. And then on this one here, that was the, the inside pad. This is the outer. Look at that. Almost down to the metal. That's how it should look. So let's put these on so we can head off and start the back ones. First thing I'm going to do is slide the new brake shoes in. We'll put a little bit of lubricant right here. Where it's going to be inside of the track. Slide it in like this. Slide it in place. Put it in like that. There we go. Next, we'll do the inner one, and then we'll be ready to compress the caliper. Put a little bit of grease here. You don't want to put too much, but obviously you do want to put enough to where it does the job. So now with that in, we can work it in here. Lay it in the track. Make sure we get it in. Like that. And now we can compress this, but let me get a close up so you can see what it looks like all intact. There it is. You can see a little bit of the brake lubricant there on the rails. You can clean the rails if there's a lot of junk and debris and rust. Use maybe a wire bristle, scrape that out real good. But you can see how it is now. And these rotors are probably, well, they have some surface rust, but not too bad, but that'll be for another project. But let's get this caliper back on so we can move on to the back. So we'll bring this around. And I'm going to move the camera so you can see what I'm going to be doing. So what I'll do, I'll take one of the old brake pads, lay it in here so we're not grabbing that. And we have something for the C-clamp to hold on to. We'll take our C-clamp here, see if you can see it. Loosen that up. There we go. So we can open it up to the right opening so that it fits over the piston. Put it right here. Get a good grip on it. And you'll see now as I tighten the C-clamp it's going to compress the piston. You can see it going down. Take it all the way down. Okay, there we go. Slide that off. Now we'll take the caliper. Now that we've compressed it, it slides right over the new. We can take the bolts, hand tighten them in. Get the one here on the bottom, hand tighten that one in. Now we can tighten them all the way. Now to tighten these bolts, we're going to be using obviously our 14 millimeter socket here on the bolt itself. But you do have this inner piece right here. 
which is actually a 17 millimeter. Sometimes that will rotate. So if that's the case, you will need to grab a 17 millimeter wrench to hold it still while you tighten it. There we go. Do the lower one. All right, this one is done. Let's head to the rear. We're going to start by removing this 14 millimeter. If you can't get your socket in there, you may have to use a 14 millimeter wrench to get a grip on this thing. There we go. Pull that off. Bottom one we can get to. Get our socket on that. Okay. Pull that off. Next, we're going to grab this caliper, but this is your emergency brake mechanism right here. So you want to make sure that your emergency brake is not engaged. Otherwise, you're not going to get it off. So now that'll slide right off. We'll set it up here out of the way so we can check these now these actually have a lot of life still on them right here brakes are still good but we're going to be swapping them out for this video so let's get the new ones and we'll put those on and we'll also grease up the rails on this as well here's our comparison you can see the new ones that's what came off there's a ton of life still on these brakes but like i mentioned we're doing other stuff on this vehicle so for this video i was just doing all the brakes while i was at it but normally these brakes are still good because you can see that they've only gone down maybe a sixteenth of an inch of that but let's put the new ones on and put a little bit of some brake grease here on the ends like we did on the other one put some here We'll slide this one in. There we go. Now we'll do the inner one. Same thing, but just a little bit here on these wings, whatever you want to call that. A little bit there. Just a little bit there. And that can be slid in here. There we go. Let me get a close up. There's the inner one. You can see that. Here's the outer one. If you look here on this piston, and that looks pretty rough right here. The boot around it looks pretty rough, but you'll see there's a pattern right here. Now let me move the camera so you can see what we're looking at. You see that pattern? They make a tool that can rotate that because you want to turn it clockwise. I found if I just take needle nose pliers and just put it right there in that groove. Let's see here. I can turn it as you can see it moving there and all you do is just turn it clockwise till you screw it all the way down and then it'll slide back on so we'll just grab these turn it a little bit more we're not gonna have to turn it much because the the current brakes were not worn down but we'll grab it like that and then turn it you can see it rotating there we go. And that might actually be enough right there. Let's see if we can slide it on. Uh, okay. That's fitting right over it. Because like I said, these brakes were not that worn out. 
if they were, then you'd have to obviously rotate it more. But let's hand screw these in like we did on the front. Get them in place. And then we'll be back to tighten them. And tighten these on. Top and bottom. Take our 17 millimeter if needed just to hold it secure. There we go. That one's good. And now we'll do the bottom one. Hold that steady. Let's see here. I'll take this all the way. There we go. It still had some slack on it. Tighten that. There we go. Okay, that's on. Okay, all the brakes are done, front and rear. I'm going to put the tires back on on this side, then we'll do the next side. Now, I'm not going to show the next side in this video because it's the same thing. So let's get the tires back on here and we'll wrap this up. Okay, well that wraps up this video on how to replace the all brakes on the Kia Rio. This is particular one is a 2013 Kia Rio, but that shows how to do it on the front and rear. I will have a lot of links to other videos I've done on this vehicle down in the description if you want to see more things on how-tos for this. But that wraps up this video. I hope it was informative for you. Hope it helped you out with any projects you're working on with your Kia Rio with the brakes. Please send me any questions and comments. I would love to hear from you. And as always, I appreciate all the support. Please like the video, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you next time.